Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change the name of a user profile folder in Windows 10. So an example right now, this computer has the name called User. And we're going to the C drive, and we go to Users, and the user is User. And I want to change this username. An example, it could be something different like admin dot, well, user dot admin PC or whatever the name of the PC those usually creates to our short name term when you create a new user and it's a little pain but I want this to be named John Smith for example so to just you would think that you could just come to that folder and just rename it but it seems it doesn't give us that options here so to do this there's a few little steps that we need to do so I'll be showing you how to do that Alright guys, so the first thing you do is to technically you need to create another user for this for the time being. Now to do this, you will need to have a minister because remember if you're the only user there, that's pretty much the whole point of this. That you want that to be changed. So we're going to go ahead and go to start or the search bar right there. It gets the same location. And we're going to go ahead and type in CMD. And we're going to right click on it and select run as administrator. Now again, you need to have administrator rights for this to work. If you have a standard user, this will not work. This is what you're going to see next right here. And for the time period, because we're only using like a temporary user, I'm going to put net user. And I'm not going to name this called temp because that's actually another story on Windows 10, how that creates those things. I'm going to put this name called, um, I'm just going to name this user test. Okay, this is all it's for. Space slash add. So right now, this user, net user. It's a shortcut. I don't know the user test has been created. So now they created there. We're now going to go ahead and type in net PO whiz like this. We're going to go ahead and press enter. And you see my current user is user. And this is user test that's only going to be here just for temporary. So if he doesn't really matter right now. What we're going to do is go ahead and select him on that user and give it administrator rights because it will need to have administrator rights to be able to change the other user's name. So that's already been created and everything looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and just sign out. So I'm going to go ahead and go to start and I'm going to select user and I'm going to go ahead and sign out. And now I'm going to go on to the temporary user that's called user test right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. Now they're probably going to bring the first time use like hello and everything and but let it do its work. And then we'll continue doing the process after this completes. Alright, so pretty much this came up. Ignore it. I really don't care. You can uncheck what you would want to. This is just to me. It's just a virtual computer, so it's worthless to me. So here we are. We created on that second user right now. And here he is, user test. He's only going to be here for a little bit, so I'll be showing you how you can delete him after. So on here, we're going to need to change the username underneath. Well, pretty much this PC to C drive to users and there's user and we're going to name this to John Smith but I'm not going to change him yet I'll do it after a bit we're first going to need to go ahead and go to start again and you can come to this location on search too and we're going to go ahead and type in CMD and again when it comes up to command prompt right click on it and select run as administrator and you'll probably be prompted go ahead and press yes and we're going to have to type in a little script for this to work so what we're going to type in is WMIC user account get name and a comma and we're going to type in SID and then we're going to go ahead and press enter. Now here's a list of users right here. There's current user right there that exists and is named 1001. That's a current user and I've actually had past users and past so the naming schemes a little different but here's the other user. User test is 1004. That's the one we're currently on. The one that we're going to be changing is the current one named user that we need to change it that we're looking for. So I'm going to X this out. I'm probably just going to minimize this for a bit. So what we're going to need to do is pretty much go to reg edit to get to there. So I'm going to cancel that and show you again. You're going to have to go to search or the search bar. I'm going to type in reg edit. This pretty much is a registry editor. And you'll go ahead and select it. And you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. And this is what you're going to see. Now when you get to this location from loading this up, you're going to go to the H key underscore local underscore machine. Go ahead and double tap it. And then we're going to go to software. And then we're going to go to Microsoft right here. Then we're going to pretty much, it's common you think Windows, but it's actually going to be Windows NT. So be careful with Windows and Windows NT. 
select Windows NT, then current version, then when I scroll down and you see profile list. And then you would think that that's it, you actually need to open it and double tap it. And here is the list. Let me expand this to show you what it looks like right here. So currently here is the user that we're going to use. You see the name is user and it tells you the path where it's at. We're going to change this actually to be John Smith. So to get to there, let me show you again. You'll go to the profile, select the one that you want, different user. So this is my user that I'm on. So that's not the one we're going to edit. We're going to edit this user. You'll then choose the profile image path. They will have this based on that user. Then you're going to click it, double tap it, or you can right click on it and select modify. And what we're going to do is change that user right there. And I'm going to name it John space Smith. Okay. Now in conclusion, you can just put this with no space like this too. It would work also. I'm just going to actually leave it without just for the heck of it. So here's user slash John Smith. We're going to go ahead and type in. Okay. And there it is right there. So next what we're going to need to do is go ahead and just X this out. I do not need this anymore. Now we're going to do is pretty much if you were there, you would go to explore again. If you still had it open, you could have just continued where I showed you earlier. But again, you're going to go to this PC, then C drive, then go to users. And I just changed that user to John Smith. So here we are changing the folder because I have the ability to part. Most of the time, if it was like if I was on that current user, I won't be able to edit it myself, but I can edit the other user because they're not signed in. So here we are. I'm going to name John Smith. And that has now been created. Now, the last thing that's going to be done on this is because his folders have been relocated and stuff, but you want to change his username too. So on this, I'm going to go ahead and type in search. I'm going to type in net PO wiz. And then you see the current user is still named user because that still is the same user there. I'm actually going to double tap it. And then I can change this username to be exactly how I named it on that folder. That will matter. So I'm going to name it John Smith. Okay. Technically, I can just put it like this with a space, John Smith. And that has been created just to make it look more professional on this. So all those three things have been changed. This is probably still going to get the same naming scheme. Let's see if we change it now for an update. Now it says John Smith because I just changed the name there, which I just recently did. So there's the naming scheme, John Smith, and there's the SID. Now I'm going to go ahead and just sign out from this user because I don't need this user anymore. It was just for this temporary time right now. So I'm signing out and now I'm going to go back to John Smith. And here we are signing in. And now if I go to this, his name looks actually correctly like John Smith and the folder that I created this underneath the users is John Smith still there. If I choose desktop and I'm going to pretend just to be sure that this is actually works, I'm going to put a new text document. It's created there on desktop. If I exit out, there's that file, so that does work. So now we re relocated the naming scheme of that folder for that user how we wanted it. Now, after you're finally done of rechanging your username because it was something that you didn't want, to get rid of that other user, it's pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and type in start, or go to search bar and select start, and we're going to go ahead and type in CMD again. And before you just click CMD, go ahead and be sure you right click on it and select administrator. <laughs> You'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. And from here, we're going to go ahead and type in net user. This shows a list of what's there. So there's John Smith that's there, but we're going to change that one that we need to get rid of is called user test. So we're going to go ahead and type in net user. And we're going to type in user test. And I'm going to type in forward slash. And we're going to type in delete. So now the user is deleted. Now you would think that all the folders are there, but Windows loves to leave user accounts data that's sitting there. So you see user test folder is still there. So we don't can't we can't technically delete it, but it's gonna have issues on this part right here. So to get rid of that, so that you don't need that to be deleted correctly, we're actually gonna go to pretty much explorer and on this PC we're gonna go ahead and right click and select properties. From there, we can then select like system protection. I'll get you to this for system properties. And we're actually going to select advanced. So the conclusion, you'll get to system properties and go to advanced. Then you're going to go ahead and go to users profile. And you see that one user that says account unknown. That's the user that we just technically deleted from command prompt. So we're going to go ahead and delete this file. 
and press yes. Be very careful what you're selecting. If you choose one of those other users like your own account, you might cause problems. After you finally delete that folder, it says it's pretty much gone. We're going to hit and press OK and OK. X is out. And here we are going back to Explorer and going to C Drive and go to Users. And that temporary user that I created is now finally gone. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. Don't forget to check out our wonderful t-shirts that we have for sale. It would be very helpful if you want to purchase for us. But again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.